name is Don Osneski. I'm from Waterford, Pennsylvania. I'm just a pathological fixer, so I like these old instruments, and I just play around, get them working again. Wow. Now this is uh, this is basically sort of a, a swap shop area, is it not? Right. Okay. So people bring what they're not playing and look for something that they would like to play. So. Now, here you have something extremely unique. You were just telling me that you think that this is probably the only one around that uh, still works. Yeah. W what is this device? Well, when he built it, he called it a Melodeon. It's, it's labeled here, Deep Bartlett, Concord, New Hampshire. So uh, it's probably 1830s or 40s it was made. And it's a reed instrument. It works on pressure, unlike most of the pump organs that work on vacuum. But here's what it sounds like. <laughs> one place and it starts leaking two more so I'm going to take it all apart and redo the bellows and all these valves in here. So. Oh goodness. Now do you have a favorite of all of the instruments that uh, you see here? Um, it depends on the day but I like this guitar a lot. I just got it together too. So. It was made in the 20s, 1920s probably by a guy named A. Mongillo, no first name. I did quite a bit of work on it. It needs tuned also. But it's that's, gorgeous. Yeah, it's a pretty nice old guitar. That is really nice. When folks come in, what kind of reaction do you get? They just like, I'm curious what you have. A lot of people are already musicians, so they pick it up and try this and that. Try not to. I think a lot of musicians have trouble buying too many instruments. So. <laughs> People ask me, "How many do you have?" And I, I don't have any idea. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of floating around that that are not operational. So mm. people bring them to me. They, these hopeless cases that they take to a shop and they say they're not worth fixing. So they dump them on my door. So, and, but it, to me, it's fun. I get to even work on them at work sometimes. So. Wow, that's neat. Now, um, obviously, this isn't your first time here. No, I usually do this type of thing just because I've already got enough of my own stuff to get rid of. So. <laughs> 